Yeah, that's okay, cool. There's, right. <laughs> okay, in this alternate world, you are single, okay? All right. She's not sitting there, okay? All right. So what's your name? Uh, Carter. 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 Cool. Uh, what do you do for a living, Carter? I'm a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> He's a D what kind of music do you DJ? Tech, uh, uh, electronica? Whatever. Yeah. Do you have a favorite uh, genre style? Uh, Swedish <laughs> death metal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> rap, okay, cool, excellent. Um, and um, what do you do for fun other than DJing? Um, I give people high fives on the street. Oh, really? Oh, That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and you put it on the YouTube channel, I'm sure, right? Yeah, it's, it's a personal thing. Okay, high fives <laughs> on the street, excellent. Uh, what else do you do for fun? I mean, do you do any any other kind of hobbies? Or no, no, I mean, that's good, good enough. Right? I mean, if that's your only thing, then I mean, uh, I, yeah. um, I'm in a boy band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, David. All right, let's go. Okay, if you were looking for the perfect person to date, what would be some of the pros? What would be some of the things that you'd look for that person? And that person. And remember, she's sitting right next to us. <laughs> she better be blonde. She better be cute. That's all I know. What are some of the things? Some of the things that you might look for in Blonde. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jeans. Jeans. Yeah. <laughs> what, what personality traits? Give good high fives. Can give good high fives, okay. All right. Now you don't care about intelligence, you don't care about hygiene. Um, brushes their teeth three times a day. Okay, lots of teeth brushes. And what are cons? What are things that you don't look, you know? Um, horses. Horses. Oh, okay. What do they do with horses? That's good to know. All right. And if you were to go to anywhere in the world on your first date, where would it be? Um, Unscrewed Theater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll give, him, I'll give him points for that one. Um, excellent. Um, first name again was? Uh, Carter. Carter. All right. Carter, go ahead and sit there and watch yourself on the Unscrewed Theater dating game. <laughs> John Johnson, and here on Earth 2, where this young man is single, we are going to find him a date. So why don't you introduce yourself to us, young man? Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name's Carter. Uh, I'm a rap DJ, a part-time high-fiver. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't pay as well as the rap DJ gig. Okay. Well, we have three lovely young bachelorettes for you here tonight. Behind this opaque, that means you can't see through it, curtain. So, so we'll do so. Well, you can ask them some questions, and we'll figure out which one of those is your love connection, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so let's meet our bachelorettes. Bachelorette number one, tell us a little bit about yourself, What's please. What's up? My Woo! name is Stacy. I'm frickin' frickin' fresh. What up? I'm a stay-at-home daughter to my parents. <laughs> Shout out. What's up, Mom? I love you. Oh. I love you. What? All right, Stacy. I, yeah. Okay, she what? doesn't. She apparently doesn't high five. Bachelor oh, number I two. Don't touch people. Can you tell us about yourself, please. Hello, my name is Rebecca. I am an equestrian, <laughs> and I don't believe in music oh. and or physical touch unless it is when I am brushing. My beautiful horse, Mandy. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I'm bachelorette number three. My name is Dorothy Pringle. <laughs> I like to dehydrate fruits and vegetables. <laughs> and I like to read steaming romance novels. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dorothy. Okay, no more, no, don't say my high, high fibers over here, Carter. So you have three questions you may ask them. So what is your first question? Uh, I appreciate a woman that has funky, fresh rhymes. <laughs> if I were to drop a beat, I want you to lay me a poem on me. Okay, sounds like you're going to drop, drop a beat and hear that poem. So Stacy, if Carter were to drop a beat for you, what would your poem be? First off, I'd like to apologize for giving you a high five. I was taught in the rap game to expect nothing, so I didn't get it back. I'm dropping a beat for you. 
kids said Netflix has streaming. Netflix had marathons. I want to sit with you on the couch and watch King of the Prawns. <laughs> and maybe eat some! Okay, thank you, thank you, Stacy. <laughs> Rebecca, what would your rhyme be if he were to drop a beat on you? Okay! Thank you, Rebecca. And finally, Dorothy, let's hear your rhyme. There once was a lady named Pringle, who unfortunately was single. <laughs> they said, go and mingle, and maybe you'll tingle. <laughs> I did, and I'm still single. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dorothy. Carter, you have two more questions. What's question number two? Uh, if the national pastime were to be replaced with high fives, how often would you high five? Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll start with uh, Rebecca this time. Rebecca, how often would you high five if that was the new national pastime? Well, that's an easy one. Never. <laughs> Why not? I don't believe in physical touch, except for when I'm brushing my horse. Okay, okay, got it. And Dorothy, how often would you high-five someone? Do you know what a high-five is, Dorothy? My hands are sweaty. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dorothy. And finally, Stacy, how often would you high-five yeah, someone? You know, I would high-five all day, every day, because some people got money in their hands. Snap. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. yes. I got a mixtape. Yes, I, I appreciate the Eminem reference. Nice. Uh, okay. Okay. We have time for one last question to narrow it down. Okay. If money were no object, where would you like to go on our first date? <laughs> okay. That's the, the money question. Dorothy, if money were no object, where would you want Carter to take you on your first date? Uh, the, um... I think the ice capades. <laughs> okay, ice capades. Stacy, if money were no object, where would you go on your first date? I would like to go to the childhood home of Marshall Mathers, aka Eminem, and we could eat Eminem's on Eminem's house because that is lit. <laughs> okay, super. Eminem, Eminem's house. And finally, Rebecca, where would you go on your first date with Carter? Well, that's an easy one. We would go horseback riding. With my beautiful horse, Mary. Okay. So you go horseback riding. So, Carter, have you heard enough? I've chosen. Uh, you've chosen. Well, you got tough luck because you don't get to choose. Our studio audience gets to choose. <laughs> so, by applause, when I put my hand over the bachelorette that you think is Carter's perfect match, go ahead and applaud. Is it Stacy? <laughs> is it Rebecca? <laughs> is it Dorothy? <laughs> Okay, Carter, we have a winner. Meet your date, Dorothy. <laughs> we'll see you next time on the day.